So for k in this problem, given that 5 to the power of k plus 5 to the power of k is equal to 100, this means that we have this plus this, which is 2 times 5 raised to the power of k is equal to 100. Go ahead and divide 3 by 2. This gives us 50 on the right hand side. And this should simply take care of this. Then we are left with 5k. 5 raised to the power of k is equal to 50. I can break down 50 itself into the product of 55 times 2. And then it becomes 5 raised to the power of k is equal to 25 times 2 and then 25 itself can be expressed as 5 raised to the power 2 that means 5 raised to the power k is equal to 5 raised to the power 2 times 2 let us divide both sides by 5 raised to the power 2 I will say divide by 5 raised to the power 2, divide through by 5 raised to the power 2, so that this can remove this from the right hand side, and then we apply a basic law of indices to the left hand side. Since the bases are the same, we can subtract the powers, and we now have 5 raised to the power k minus 2 is equal to 2. To solve for k at this point, you will need to take the logarithm of both sides. So you have the logarithm of 5 raised to the power k minus 2 is equal to the logarithm of 2. There's a basic law of logarithm that says you can take this power k minus 2 to the back. Uh, that is, if you have the logarithm of a raised to the power n. You can express that as n log a. So this power n now becomes a coefficient, which we now apply to k minus 2 in this case. So k minus 2 becomes a coefficient, k minus 2. Then you have log 5, then equal to log 2. Notice that these are in the same base. This logarithm here is in base 10. And here is in base 10. Let us divide both sides by log 5. So this removes this from here and ensures that we only have the unknown on the left hand side and all of the logarithm are now on the right hand side. And with that, we now have k minus 2 is equal to log 2 divided by log 5. Then we'll add 2 to both sides, say plus 2, and then plus 2. With that, this removes negative 2 from the left hand side. We now have k is equal to 2 plus log 2 divided by log 5. This is actually our final answer, but there is a way we can match log 2 divided by log 5 into one simple logarithm. As long as the two of them are in the same base, we can match them together using this principle. If you have log a, log to base a of let's say n, divided by log to base a of m. You can bring these two together by simply taking one of the logarithms and then the m at the base becomes the base in that logarithm and this n will just be here. But 
you have to ensure that they are in the same base that was why i emphasized the other time that the bases here are both in base 10 so this will just become log 2 base 5 so we have k is equal to 2 plus log 2 base 5 and this is our final answer so we got k is equals to 2 plus log 2 base 5 and we are going to check if this solution is correct by putting this value into k here so let's check so we have 5 raised to power 2 plus log 2 base 5 plus 5 raised to power 2 plus log 2 base 5 is equal to 100 let's separate this power using the log indices so we have 5 raised to power 2 times 5 raised to power log 2 base 5 plus 5 raised to power 2 times 5 raised to power log 2 base 5 all of this should give us 100 5 raised to power 2 is 25 And then 5 raised to the power log 2 base 5 is simply 2. Then plus the same thing, 25 times 2. This should give us 100. 25 times 2 is 50. Then plus 50 as well. And you can see 50 plus 50 is simply 100 so 100 is equal to 100 thank you so much for watching remember to hit that thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video